patience is a virtue. Owning a business means that you need to really hustle to be successful. And practicing patience may not be something that you thought much about in your business. But by being patient, you may just start to see better options you have available for your business. There will be many times in your business when you need to plant seeds, cultivate them, and wait for their success. Practicing patience will help you overcome the anxiety that you may be experiencing in your business right now. In the fourth episode of this week's five-episode podcast series about common mistakes business owners make, you'll learn how being patient in your business will help you in many ways. Embracing failure and learning from it is just one of the ways that you can work towards being a more patient business owner. It doesn't matter if you're a self-employed individual, a solopreneur, entrepreneur, mompreneur, freelancer, small business owner, bookkeeper, or virtual assistant. By taking the time to take a deep breath, relax, and practice being patient, your business will clearly benefit from your actions. You're listening to the Mastering Your Small Business Finances podcast, where we get straight to the point on topics that ultimately affect your bottom line. That's right, as an entrepreneur with a small business, money management, growth, marketing, they all affect your bottom line. I'm your host, Chris Ponick. I'm a certified public accountant, and I've been helping small business owners like you navigate and easily understand these complicated topics for over 25 years. I'm a wife, a mom, a grandmother, and a small business owner myself, so I know your time is valuable. In my free time, I make the best sugar cookies and have mastered an amazing chocolate chip cookie recipe. And that's not just my opinion. You're in the right place. I promise your time will be well spent here. Each week you'll gain confidence and clarity while making a successful impact on your business and grow your bottom line. Get comfy, grab a cookie, and let's get straight to the point with this week's episode. Hey there, if you're a business owner who wants to take your business to the next level, you're building your business and you're serious about growing your business to your first six figures, trending towards multiple six figures, or even seven figures, I want to invite you to join me in a free consultation call. I've created a business strategy and growth program that is the program that you need that helps you take your business to the next level. It sets the foundation for you to build, grow, and scale your dream business for the long term. It's for you if you are a business owner who desires to build a successful business and you want to do it in the most accelerated, streamlined, and sustainable way and in a way that aligns with your life and the impact that you want to make with your business. I'm really proud of the work that my clients and I do in this program and the transformation that happens for my clients through this one-on-one consulting process so that they can fully reach their dreams, set the foundation for their business, and create belief and actions to achieve what is possible by taking control and understanding their business, which leads to a balanced and more fulfilled life. There are limited spots available because of the very high level of support included in this program and because I'm also very serious about helping my clients get results. I'm helping clients get their businesses started, be more profitable, set strategies to move their business forward, and take control of their business while allowing them the balance and ability to enjoy their personal life. Your business finances are impacted by much more than just your bookkeeping and financial knowledge. You need a solid business foundation. During your consultation session, we'll work together to go over where you currently are in your business and where you'd like to see yourself and your business in the future. If this sounds like you, I want you to sign up for one of my free consultation sessions. And if you're at a place where you know that you're ready for this level of business strategy, coaching, mentorship, and support, 
with high-level business discussions that will give you the exact next steps and the ability to reach your goals and achievements, let's get on a call so that we can talk about and see what's possible for you and your business this year. You can go to financialadventure.com slash contact hyphen us to schedule your call today. I'll post the link in the show notes for you as well. Welcome back and welcome to the fourth of this five series podcast I have for you this week where I'm talking about some of the most common mistakes business owners have been known to make in their business. I want you to be aware of these mistakes and take action to make sure that you don't make the same mistakes in your business. Today we're focusing on being patient. In a world where we are used to getting everything done quickly, it can be hard to be patient. It seems like everything that we want is available with a click of a button. Think about Amazon and how easy it is to make a purchase with just one click. There are so many ways that allow us to lose our patience, but when you take the time to be patient, you'll start to see the rewards. Let's talk about giving up too soon. When you're faced with a problem in your business, do you give up right away? If you would just take a moment and really take a look at the situation and start asking yourself questions about where you're at and what it would take to bring you closer to what you're aiming for, you'd be practicing patience. I know this is a hard thing to do, especially when moments are passing by you so quickly. If you find yourself in this situation, try to take a deep breath, assess the situation, and make a smart decision. Is this something you should truly be giving up on, or do you just need to make a slight pivot to see your success? Failure is often a time when business owners will lose their patience and give up too soon. Rather than just giving up, embrace your failure and learn from it. Is there a way that you can dig deeper into why you're experiencing this failure and create a solution so that you can fix what is broken and start to see success? Think about everything when it comes to your failures. Assess how these failures were perceived by your customers, your vendors, and even other business owners. By gathering this information, you'll be able to learn a lot about the situation and turn your failure into a success without starting over with another option from scratch. Believe it or not, some business owners thrive on finding failure so that they can use each failure to create a much better solution. Take a moment and think about how you handle your failures, not only in your business, but also in your personal life. By being patient, you could be saving yourself lots of time. Have you ever made an impatient decision and then found yourself paying for that decision by spending way more time than you would have needed to if you would have just been patient and thought the situation through before acting on it. Time is money, and you don't want to waste your valuable time correcting poor decisions when you could be utilizing that time to generate additional income. Patience is a virtue. Take a breath, slow down, and make smart decisions in your business with patience. I know many of you who are already on the wait list, patiently waiting for the registration to open for my Strategic Bookkeeping Academy, are going to be excited because I'm happy to announce that I'm ready to open registration. So take a second and make a note that the Strategic Bookkeeping Academy is launching on June 15th, 2022. Also note that there will be a promotion for founding members from June 15th through June 17th, 2022. This means that I created this new program and I can't wait for you to join and start taking control of your business, gain a deeper understanding, and master your small business finances. This program will help you understand exactly what you need to do when you're doing your own bookkeeping for your business. It's also helpful for bookkeepers who are still working on their processes to deliver the best bookkeeping service to their clients. Having over 25 years of experience working with business owners, I understand where they struggle, and this program is designed to help service-based business owners do their own bookkeeping with ease. 
Since this program is new, I also created a special bonus for you when you sign up in the first couple of days the program is open. So if you want more information, if you can't wait to join, or you're curious to learn more about the Strategic Bookkeeping Academy for service-based business owners, come and join the waitlist. It's very important for you to join the waitlist if you want to grab the special founding member opportunities during the promotional period. If you miss this promotional period, you can still purchase the program, but not for the promotional price. You can get on the waitlist by going to financialadventure.com slash SBA and clicking on the waitlist button. You'll enter your email address and I'll send you the information to register during the promotional period. I can't wait to see you in the program. I'll post links to this and other valuable resources for business owners and bookkeepers where you're listening to this podcast and in the show notes. And you know I'm going to ask, what's at least one thing that you will take away from this episode that will help your business succeed and grow your bottom line? If you need some accountability, join our private Facebook community and post your action item. We'd love to support you. Thanks for taking the time to tune into this episode of Mastering Your Small Business Finances. If you enjoyed this episode as much as I enjoyed creating it for you, I'd love for you to give it a five-star rating and subscribe to the show so you never miss an episode. Visit financialadventure.com for the show notes, links from this episode, and while you're there, Leave a comment if you have a topic you're interested in learning more about that affects your bottom line. If you're looking for a community where you can ask questions and get feedback about your small business, join my private Facebook group. You can find the links to this group and more on financialadventure.com. And remember, any financial information shared on this podcast is not to be considered professional, financial, or tax advice and should not be solely relied upon. Please consult your CPA or tax advisor for an opinion on your specific circumstances. I'm looking forward to having you tune in next time. Until then, dream big, follow your heart, and love what you do. Thank you.